Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm not sure if I will have posted the video yet, but I moved into a storage unit, or all my inventory anyway, and I just want to say I do have a mask. I made it. It's like really janky, but it works. Anyway, yeah, I'm at the unit today, and I guess this is going to be like a little bit of a chit-chatty video. I haven't really posted a whole lot in the last couple weeks just because I was moving in here, and... Um, and yeah, I guess I just want a time to like process everything, you know? So um, as of right now, I am here bringing uh, all this inventory needs to get put away into the bins and um, I have a coffee and that's just where I'm at. This is the other side of the storage unit. It's a 10 by 10 unit. And um, that's all donations that I've received and picked up curbside. I'm actually still getting contacted to do curbside pickup, but Honestly, I'm not sure how much more I can take. So, um, yeah, this stuff all needs to get processed still. It's just a work in progress, to say the least. I'm not really sure how this video is going to turn out, but I, uh, yeah, I'm just here. I already finished putting away um, the items that needed to be put away, but I'm just going through um, a bag of donations just to give you guys an idea of what I'm getting. Um, every bag is different. Some of them, it, like everything is totally unusable. Others, I'm like finding a couple of pieces and then the rest is to donate. But obviously the issue is that all of these things are gonna be just chilling here until everything reopens. So I need to sort of calm it down on the curbside pickups. But um, they're contact free. I just tell the person, you know, leave the items outside um, and, and I go and pick them up without having to see anyone. Um, a couple of people, I paid them for their, uh, for their items and they had sent me photos previously or I offered to FaceTime them and I could tell them yes or no on the spot of the things that I wanted. Um, and then I Venmoed them to pay. So anyway, this is one bag. You can see like a lot of it is super worn. This is a pair of Nine West heels, a lot of older styles. Um, this, I'm not actually sure what this is. Um, this bag had this older pair of coach heels, so I think these are pretty usable. I'm gonna try to clean them up and hold on to them, but all of the others are a no-go, but you know, that just kind of was like a fluke because I don't always get a pair of even that. <laughs> As you can see, my glasses are foggy from breathing with my super janky mask. A lot of my uh, donations I have been sharing with a friend who um, yeah, also resells and recently stopped working. So I just feel like I should share what I have for free and I have in abundance. So, um, I'm going to go drop some of this stuff off to her now. And so, um, then I'm going to head home. I did sort through, um, uh, one bag of stuff that I'm going to take home. Some of it I'm going to put into like mystery boxes because if I can share things with you guys, I would do that. Um, and some of the things are just going to get straight up donated. I am home now and I am just kind of looking for snacks. So I had the rest of this bag of chips and I'm eating the last banana bread muffin. I put oats in it and so Angel said, the only thing worse than oats is kale. So uh, yeah, I guess this is all for me. And I'm just gonna enjoy, it's gonna be, let's see, can I cut this without <laughs> my second hand? <laughs> okay, that works. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm working on, everything on this rack needs to be photographed. Um, these are two bins. This is um, items from the Real Real that I need to sort through that they returned to me several weeks ago. I just, yeah, and this is uh, like accessories and things that I need to photograph. Uh, everything like that's inventory, you, oh, it's super dark, but there, that's two milk crates of shoes. Um, some blankets, all of that's photographed. This is like stained items and things that are like damaged that, that need to be fixed and stuff. Um, but that bag I just brought from my offsite. This one right here is also new items that need to be like photographed and processed. But first I need to where is it? I have my notebook in here that I just brought from my storage unit. Where is it? Oh, those are my hand wipes. So this is the 
notes of everywhere everything that I just brought to offsite and this is all of the stuff that's going to go into my spreadsheet now just so I have the locations none of this stuff is listed so that's like next on the task list but first I need to make sure that my um, my spreadsheet is updated so I know where everything is located trying on some leggings I just got from Poshmark so I'm gonna wear those to finish taking photos I change outfits so many times throughout the day and I'm gonna take photos of this stuff well first I have to steam it and then I'm gonna take photos on this wall most of the modern stuff I'm gonna just take on a hanger small items that are hard to hang I do in a flat lay and then vintage I model which I probably won't get to today but that's that's fine so I just finished taking photos. It is 628 now. It took me 43 minutes to take 32, take photos of 32 items. That is a minute 34 per item approximately, which is, you know, it's all right. Um, all I do now, and I've shown this in other videos, but I just upload them to Lightroom and I just adjust all of the, the, like the different colors and things. I have a preset that I just put onto every single item and uh, just brightens it up a little bit and makes the color like look a little bit closer to what it actually is because sometimes the photos on my iPhone come out a little dull. I only have an iPhone 7 so I don't know that's like pretty old compared considering that the 12 is coming out now so I also just wanted to like throw in or just talk to you guys a little bit because I feel like I don't know with everything going on it feels very strange trying to figure out like what's the best way to communicate I've just been hearing a lot uh, from friends and like other creators who have been feeling the judgment like extra hard lately and I'm just kind of like fearful of the thing that hasn't quite happened yet but I definitely open myself up to that by posting videos and sharing my life online so um I don't know I guess I've just been like also hesitant to post more videos because I've been feeling kind of bummed because of the, the situation and because, you know, I know some people personally who have been really severely affected by this and um, who have caught the virus and I just know that, like, this is going to come to an end. I want to be positive and uplif up uplifting, but sometimes it's just, I don't know if that comes across on video because it's, like, everything is just kind of a bummer and... Um, and because reselling is not essential, so it feels, I feel very conflicted about continuing to try to, like, do the day-to-day -day and, like, be productive when being productive gives me a sense of normal and that makes me feel like, you know, give me this feeling that, like, things are fine, but the truth is, like, things are very much not fine. They're, like, things are so different for so many people and it feels just, like, a little weird to, like, glaze over that. Um, or to feel like I am. I don't know if that makes any sense, but sales have definitely been affected um, And you know, I think that's fine I think that's also to be expected with the move which I mentioned earlier like I haven't been like doing the listing and the like cross posting and everything like I normally would so that's pretty much standard and I don't feel bad about it It just kind of just is what it is. I'm rambling on and on but I guess I just wanted to like chit chat and and kind of like share what I'm feeling with you guys. Um, I don't really know what content's gonna look like moving forward, but I'm just gonna keep sharing things as they come up and I'm gonna share like my real life, especially going and getting the storage unit. I'm never in contact with anyone. I've been minimizing my, um, my shipping times to three times a, a week. So um, I'll go to the unit just to pick up the items that I need to ship on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of it. So, um, yeah, I, like trying to take all of the precautions and I'm wishing the best for everyone out there, but uh, I just kind of, I kind of just can't wait until this is over, you know? Like, I know you guys feel the same, but I just, I can't wait. So, yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, I do feel, I feel positive and hopeful and I feel like that's, that by working and by being productive, it's the only way for me to feel like... This isn't so heavy so um, that's kind of where I'm at 
and I don't know. I don't know if that's helpful or anything to you guys, but it's just kind of where my head's at lately is just like trying to get back to work and trying to do as much as I can with the time that I have and the inventory that I have and I don't know. I think everyone's just trying to do their best and there's been a lot of judgment going around in the reseller community but um and a lot of like just tension because it is a tense time but I think I think we're better off if we just stay positive stay encouraging of one another and you know take advantage of the resources that are out there if anything you know resonates with you let me know down in the comments um maybe tell me like one positive thing that happened to you this week and we can like feel the the good vibes um that's been something that's helpful to me is just like thinking about the good thing so yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna edit the images and go make dinner <laughs> thank you so much for watching thank you for your support thank you for liking the thumbs up for subscribing just for being here i appreciate you and if you are an essential worker thank you so much so big shout out to you guys you guys are the true mvps um all of the frontline workers and just everyone i'm appreciative of leave your usps worker a happy note or a basket of treats or something and um thank a nurse or a doctor or anyone just go do that okay i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching bye i am so grateful for you my buddy oh my good boy you are such a good boy even though you make the couch so furry